Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Trucker Mike and welcome to the blah, blah. Welcome to today's vlog. Nice already. It's 55 degrees outside, sunshine. I have to wear my blue sunglasses today. I think mother I think uh I think old man winter is finally uh Ending his shift is well overdue shift, I guess. Or he's accumulated a lot of overtime, that's for sure. Um, there's some still a little bit of snow up in the Montana area. I think it was yesterday. I haven't even looked at the weather today, but it's been nice. It's uh, 55 degrees. I'm in Council Bluffs, Iowa, at the Sat Brothers. I'm fixing to pull out, go get some fuel, and get my day started. I should be in Denver about 4.30ish or so, 4.30, 5, 5 o'clock. Uh, I don't deliver till midnight, so I got plenty of time. So yeah, gorgeous day. 7.44 a.m., like I said, 55 degrees, sun shining, that, that sun's right there in my eyes. So I have to break out my sunglasses. So, but anyway, uh, need my fuel card. Gotta get fuel. Yesterday was a typical Monday. Two accidents. One of them was a, a rollover. I went around that one. Had a tire, tire, a trailer tire cap blow off, but the tire didn't blow. I lost my keys. Well, I mean, I have backups, but. The main set of keys that had the key to my lock on the trailer, I had the key to the lock on my low locks, I had my truck key, and then I had another key for my other lock, which was the only key I have, so now I gotta buy another lock. Um, sadly, I only had one key to my lock on the trailer, so I'm gonna have to cut that lock off. Thank God I have an angle grinder, I can cut it off. So I gotta go up here and get fuel and I'm gonna buy me another lock. And then when I get to where I'm going today, I'll cut the lock off. Yeah, it was been one of them days. After the tire issue, it was smooth selling, but up until that point, it was a typical Monday. So without further ado, I'm gonna pull up and get some fuel and we'll get this day started. Got my fuel. Got me something to eat. Now it's time to get on the road.
pilot, take my 30 minute break, see if they have a lock. Just finished my 30 minute break. We're leaving out. Got my lock cut off. Put a new lock on there, temporary lock, until I get the prime in a couple weeks and I get a new abloy lock. Because I lost my keys yesterday. They had my only key to my abloy lock on there. 
I used to have a couple more, but I've lost them. I don't know where they're at. It is what it is, but at least I got another lock on there. Because I had another lock, but the key, <laughs> the key to that lock was on the keychain that I lost yesterday. So, yeah. I know. Not too smart, but... Looking at the radar, it looks like I'm going to run into some rain here next few miles and some thunderstorms. It was actually snowing in Denver this morning, like 0 .10 inch, but it's going to be warm today, so it ain't going to do anything. Well, yeah, I'm really glad I bought that 20, that DeWalt 20 volt max cordless angle grinder. That thing has come in handy several times for me already. It easily cut that out when we lock on. Uh, I've used it to cut the mounting pieces for my fog lights. I've used it to cut off the old uh, quarter fender tubes or thingies to put the new ones on. Yeah, it's almost a must-have to have on your truck if you're an owner-operator. Several uses for it. Everybody, all right. Made it to my destination. My appointment was at 12:15 a.m. Got here about 7:30. They called me about 8:30 to come into. They had a door for me already. Um, got done about. 10:30, and so no, so now I'm parked in the staging area. You know, for about hours. So, but anyways, oh, it's just been one of them days. But um, one of my projects that I'm doing, um, it's more like a preventative maintenance than anything. Um, May 7th, my truck's going in the shop at Peterbilt and uh, to get some things done. Well, I ordered the Maxwell Ultra 31 slash 1800 ESM, the engine start module. I told you guys about that. Um, so whenever my truck gets done at Peterbilt and I get back, get it back to Prime, the terminal, I'm going to see if the shop will have uh, an, an empty or a, um, a bay they're not using so I can use it because I got some things I need to do. 
one of them is I'm going to install that, mo that, that engine start module, but I'm also Attention, a new important message has arrived. Thank you, Jill. Um, I'm going to replace my batteries. Go ahead and do it all at once. Um, so by doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the battery cables on the batteries that connect the batteries together, which are these short cables that I made. Um, do I have to do it? Probably not. Do I know the conditions of the cable inside, underneath, and everything? No, I don't. The cables are, you know, six years old, seven years old. Um, you know, they got the, the, you know, they got this rubber material covering up, so I don't know what the condition are in the, on the inside. So, um, I bought the cable, two hour cable. I bought a hydraulic crimper. I mean, they're not the best looking, but they will work just fine. So I'm going to replace them. Um, like I said, it's more like a preventative maintenance. Uh, it'll help my electrical system out. Um, I got the uh, the red wire loom. These are the, the positive ones, but you can see I already got the wire loom on them. So I made them a little bit longer so they could, you know, when they when when it connects to the battery, it'll have this flex. It'll be it'll, it'll go in just like that. So it has some leeway. So I made uh, two positive to. Uh, Ground. I'm pretty sure that's how many. So that's how many I need. Uh, but I got to double check and look underneath there and make sure. So. But other than that, I am going to call it a day and go to bed. It's 11:38 at night, and uh, I'm going to bed. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.